Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, my friend? So in today's episode, I want to talk about candlestick patterns, right? Why traders lose money with candlestick patterns, even though they have a pretty good idea, usually right, most of them, about what candlestick patterns is about, right? So here's, here's why, right? So when traders learn candlestick patterns from courses, from books and whatnot, they memorize these patterns, right? You know, the hammer, the engulfing pattern, the harami, the doji, yada, yada, right? Stuff like that. They memorize what these patterns mean, right? And they trade it literally. For example, if you see a hammer, right? Many traders will make a mistake of, you know, seeing a hammer, oh, it's bullish, let's buy, right? Because the buyers are in control, the market is going up higher, let's buy. Well, the next thing you know, the market collapses low and it gets stopped down, okay? So that's not the way to trade candlestick patterns. Don't memorize the meaning of it and don't literally trade this candlestick patterns, right? Just because it's green, you buy, just because it's red, you sell. No, it's, it's not as simple as that, okay? A better way to approach it, right, is to use what I call the May formula, right? The May formula, it's uh, spelled as M. A E E formula. And I'll break this formula down right, and explain to you what this is all about and how you can actually use this, right, for your own uh, candlestick pattern trading. So the May formula, the, the M stands for market structure. The first thing that you want to find out is what's the current market structure, right? Is the market in an uptrend? Is it in a downtrend? Or it's in a range, right? You want to identify the current market structure. Next thing, area of value. Is the market at an area of value? Is it at support? Is it a resistance? Is it bouncing off the upward trend line? Is it uh, coming towards a respected moving average like the 50-day moving average, right? Stuff like that. This is the area of value. The third thing, right? Entry trigger, right? Is there a valid entry trigger for my trading setup, right? An entry trigger could be something like a hammer, a bullish engulfing pattern, a shooting star, right? This is where candlestick patterns shine because they are very useful to serve as an entry trigger to get you into a trade, Okay. And finally, exits, right? Where will you exit the trade if you're wrong, right? Where is your stop loss and where is your TP, your target profit if the market moves in your favor? So this is what the May formula is all about. And let me, you know, just give you an example of how to actually use candlestick patterns, right? Using the May formula, how to trade candlestick patterns with the May formula. Let's say, number one, market structure. The market is in an uptrend, okay? So we know that if market is in an uptrend, we want to be looking for buying opportunities. So we've identified the market structure. Number two, is the price near an area of value? So here's the thing, right? Just because the market is in an uptrend doesn't mean you want to buy immediately, right? You want to buy from an area of value. This could be from an area of support, from the upward trend line where the price respects the trend line. You want to be buying near this area. So number two, you want to ask yourself, right? Is the price near an area of value? If it is, right? For example, it's an area of support, then great. Move on to number three, which is your entry trigger. Now, do you have a valid entry trigger to enter a trade? An entry trigger could be something that is a, a hammer, for example, showing you rejection of lower prices or a bullish engulfing pattern, right? Telling you the buyers are in control as they over, uh, overwhelm the sellers and close near the highs. That could be a valid entry trigger to enter your trade. And finally, exits. Where do you exit your trade? If you're wrong, where is your stop loss, right? You could put your stop loss, let's say, you know, uh, one ATR below the low of the entry trigger candle. And as for your target profit, you can look to take profit at the swing high. Right, that's another way to exit your trade. Or if you want to trail your stop loss to ride the trend, you can trail your stop loss as well. So by now, I hope you can see that how candlestick pattern right, actually fits into the May formula. Right, If you follow this May formula, right, I'm pretty confident that your trading results with candlestick patterns will dramatically improve. Right? I can't guarantee you, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be a consistently profitable trader, you'll make tons of money, I can't guarantee that. But if you are struggling with candlestick patterns and you adopt this formula, right, the formula that I just shared with you, right, your trading results, right, will improve. And if you want more training about the May formula, I have a dedicated YouTube training video just for it. Just go to YouTube, uh, Google search, I mean, uh, just do a search on YouTube, right? The May formula, all right? M-A-E-E -E formula, and you'll find something, uh, a YouTube video with my face on it. Click on that video and you'll learn in full details, all right? So that's pretty much it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, right? With that said, I will talk to you soon.